Hello guys, HL here coming to you with another World of Warships Blitz video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the Bismarck and I will be sharing some tips and tricks on how to play Bismarck better. But firstly, let's look at the stats of Bismarck. She has 50,000 hit points which is the highest among all tier 8 tech 3 battleships, decent citadel protection as well as damage reduction, but slightly disappointing fire and flooding resistance as well as torpedo damage reduction. In terms of speed, she can do 28 knots but has a slightly slow rudder travel speed of 5.2 degrees per second and a long turn time which makes dodging torpedoes slightly difficult. She has 8 380mm main guns in a 4x2 configuration with a 19 second reload time which is fast except that they suffer from German dispersion which makes hitting targets at a long range slightly difficult. For secondaries, she has the armor piercing secondaries, all battleships, from tier 6 in the German line possessed and 16 auto secondaries that fire HE shells. For AA, she has average AA that is good enough for self protection but isn't good enough for discouraging aircraft carriers on choosing her as the target. She has 11.34 km of surface detection radius which is decent for a battleship. Now that we are done looking at the stats of the ship, let's move on to tip number 1. Tip number one is to always angle your ship. Much as Bismarck has total back armor which is tough to citadel, she will still eat lots of penetration damage if caught broadside by enemy battleships. As you can see in the video here, I'm slowly angling into the point because there's lots of enemies on the other side. I don't want to get citadel or caught broadside because I don't want to receive lots of damage. As you can see, Amagi's shells are coming but luckily I'm angled so I'm harder to hit and I take less hits and I take less damage. Control. In this part of the battle guys, I am not angled properly which I will be punished for as you can see Amagi's shells have hit me and dealt lots of damage to me. I'm not sure whether it's a subtle hit or penetrations but either way it still hurt really bad. And by this time in the battle I'm panicking so I just turn full broadside and uh, forgetting how badly it is going to hurt me if I turn full broadside and I get punished dearly for it. As you can see, I have lost more than 10,000 health, actually more than 15,000 I think. So guys, always remember, do not show full broadside to the enemies in battle. Always angle correctly. Tip number 2 guys is to always constantly alter speed and course. This is a very valuable tip that can be used with playing all battleships but it's especially important with Bismarck as Bismarck's torpedo damage reduction and flooding protection is very low compared with other battleships. Constantly altering speed and course will make you unpredictable thus being harder to predict and drop torps to hit you. As you can see in the example, I'm turning into the cap which is dangerous because props are often thrown into caps so I'm going to be slowing down soon as you will see because props are coming and just as predicted torps do appear at some point where are they? ah there they are so guys always slow down and ensure you are unpredictable but in a situation where you are unable to dodge all the torps slow down and turn into the torps this is because you will take fewer hits if you turn into the tops instead of going straight forward. In a situation where you are forced to go close with a DD or cruiser with torpedoes such as Admiral Keeper or Miyoko, try to go in bow first instead of showing broadside so if you get hit, you get hit by fewer torps. At tip number 3, always stick with AA cruisers for escort especially when up tier in CV matches and facing the likes of Taiho and Essex. This is because Bismarck's slow rudder travels, weak torpedo damage reduction as well as low fire and flooding protection makes her an easy target for CVs. Bismarck's AA is also kind of weak which means CVs will lose less planes when targeting Bismarck which also encourages them to target her. As such, Bismarck players should stick with US cruisers like USS Cleveland and USS Pichita for AA escort as this will discourage CVs from targeting Bismarck or coming anywhere near her. If caught in a situation where you are being targeted by a CV and not having any cruiser or AA escort, 
you can apply tip number two which is dodging and being unpredictable this will make the torpedoes and bombs from the planes miss as well as make them stay inside your AA defense range for a longer period of time which will result in more loss of planes and also help your team as you are shooting down more planes from the enemy sea view. At number 4 in the Bismarck is to use your hydroacoustic search correctly. Hydroacoustic search is a consumable that detects all enemy ships and torpedoes within a certain radius for the time it is activated. It is especially useful for detecting torpedoes in situations where you know there are torpedoes coming or you are pushing into the cap and there are destroyers or cruisers equipped with torpedoes guarding it. In other situations, it can also be used to tip destroyers that smoke are detected so your secondary guns or basically all your guns can continue firing on them. In the example here, I am dodging these tops as in one of the previous tips, changing course and turning in. And as you can see, the Kagero just smoked up, but I enabled my hydroacoustic search, which enabled him to be detected and thereby sunk by my ship. So guys, always remember, your hydroacoustic search is a very valuable component and use it at the right times. Coming in at tip number 5 is to utilize Bismarck's greatest asset, which is her potential in brawling. This works especially well in battles where you are top tier. Simply look for a cruiser or BB that has strayed from the group and is not being escorted by other cruisers, DDs or battleships. Close the distance with them and finish them off. In this battle, I am closing the distance with the Amagi I am locking on now, but I was firing across at the other Amagi because I wanted her dead so she could not fire me full broadside. If you really like this kind of playstyle of closing the distance and brawling, you could invest some of your captain skills into secondary gun improvements and choose the elite operator bonus of close quarters expert to improve your secondary gun's power. In this example, or as you can see here, I am closing the distance with Amagi and I definitely could win other than time ran out so I couldn't kill Amagi. But this is roughly what I like to do with the Bismarck. Pushing multiple BBs at once is also possible for Bismarck, but it is strongly unadvisable as you may be outgunned and outflanked. So guys, those are 5 tips and tricks which I always use to get the most out of Bismarck. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. If you want me to make any gameplay about any ship in particular, please leave a comment down in the comments section down below. I also live stream on Sundays, so don't forget to turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss my live streams. That's all for now, I'm HL and I'll see you guys next time.